see everybody out this morning. Bills, it's plenty warm in here this morning, so you can't comply. <laughs> but our uh, illustrious preacher, if you, if you notice, this side of the building and all that down through there, the heat hasn't been working all so far all winter. Uh, he got it working this week, so we got plenty of heat this morning. It's, uh, it's made up for it. But it's good to see each and everybody, each and every one of you out this morning. And uh, <coughs> Allie was, uh, she came up to me a few minutes ago. She said, you know, I found a shirt that would be just perfect for you that I wanted to buy, but Mom and Dad wouldn't let me get it. I said, well, what? She said, and they had one in Dad's size, and they had one that looked like your size. She said, but they wouldn't like to buy them. I said, what was it? So that was a white church, and you and Dad would look good together. <laughs> oh, so. Uh, <laughs> but as you all know, I do love my Hawaiian church, but it's getting time to get out a little bit on the coast of uh, so everyone will go ahead and stand with me this morning. I'll just love the Lord of Prayer. Dear Father, it is good to come into your house, to fellowship, dear Father, to, to worship you this morning. Dear Father, it's, it's just another family gathering, dear Father, where we can come together and, and spend time together, dear Father, and get to spend time in your presence. Father, I just pray that, that you will bless us with your presence this morning. Dear Father, as we sing these songs of worship, dear Father, as we gather around your table, as we open up your word, dear Father, we just pray that, that our minds are tuned to you this morning. Dear Father, that we leave the outside world outside. Dear Father, that, that we can totally tune ourselves to you this morning. Father, we love you. We thank you for Jesus and the sacrifice that he made for us. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Welcome all those around you this
ice cubes. <laughs> but he didn't say. Because I, I tend to kind of forget until I always think of the next uh, Capture blessings. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we're here at the table this time in the morning, this time on Sunday morning, and I want to read a few scriptures and a few lines uh, for you. When the prophet Samuel led Israel, he told them to direct your heart to the Lord and serve him only, and he will deliver you. Later, in David's life, David had his people uh, joyfully, his people joyfully came with him and, and as he led to get the materials ready for the temple. And in doing that, David said, O oh Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, our fathers kept forever such purposes and thoughts to the hearts of your people and direct our hearts toward you. Later on in the New Testament, Paul wrote in Ephesians, Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise. And finally, Jesus in the upper room, when he is with his friends, he says, do this in remembrance of me. Now, there's no, I should say, hocus pocus or anything magical about this faith, about this loaf and about this cup about this juice, about this bread. There's nothing magical about it except for the fact that, you know, it doesn't forgive us of our sins by protecting of this, but it lets us be directed toward Jesus. and lets us be directed toward our thoughts and our actions for the week and what we've done in the previous week and what we're going to do in the next week. So as we partake of this love and of this cup, as we're all sitting around and as this is passed, let's our hearts be directed toward Jesus this morning. Yep, Oh God, 
thank you so much for our salvation. Thank you for your forgiveness. Father, now I ask a blessing upon each and every one that is here this morning. As we partake of these emblems representing your, your body and your blood. Father, so may we all be mindful of that great sacrifice that your son made for us upon the cross to make us all white as snow, Father. We're so, so thankful for that. Father God, thank you for just allowing us to come into this building to, to worship you, to sing these songs unto you, to, to actually gather together as like-minded people to break this bread and, and drink of this cup. Father, ask your blessings upon these animals and ask your blessings upon us.
Father God, we just come here right now. Father, this time of our service where, Father, we give back to you just uh, financially, Father, just a small portion that you blessed us with. Father, I pray that uh, we do this out of love for you, Father. Father, we don't feel like it's just an obligation. Father, it's something that you set for us to do, that we just do it just because of that. And Father, we do it because we love you. And Father, we know that you love us first. Father, we can sit there that love back. Father, we thank you so many times and so many ways in our lives. Father, I pray that through this giving, Father, that we are obedient to you. Father, that we love you so much that we give all we can. Father, we know through that that you will bless us. Father, may you not look upon our fear, but Father, one day when we pass the tears in the next life, Father, we know we'll be truly blessed. Father, we thank you for your son Jesus and what he means to us here. Father, I pray you to us. Which he had prepared for me. 
I thank the student box because I would like one more child to receive the same hope I received when I needed it most. Yeah, Samaritan's Purse, after every one of these boxes will be gone through before they get you. And they put up scriptures, you know, whether it's New Testament, you know, or scripture verses or whatever, inside of each and every box. But like this one, one child that we just read about, that could be any one of these. That could be 53 of these. So, right now, before Darren comes up with a prayer request, I'd like that prayer over these boxes. That each one of these feet of the tree will get to know Jesus Christ. And who knows from there? Because God can do great things when we let him. So if you want to pray with me. Dear Father, right now we just come before your throne once again. Dear Father, thanking you for blessing us so. Dear Father, as some of the songs we sang today, you know, some of the things that we just take for granted so much. Dear Father, the, the roof over our head, the shoes on our feet, Dear Father, the clothes on our back, Dear Father, the money we have in our pockets. Dear Father, a vehicle to get back and forth where we want and need to. Dear Father, a warm building that we can come in solely for the purpose of worshiping you. Dear Father, a place where a lot of these boxes could possibly be going. They don't have those luxuries that we have. They may not have the roof over their head, or the shoes on their feet, or even the clothes Dear Father on their back. But dear Father, they're as much your children as we are. Dear Father, you created each and every one in this world. Dear Father, a lot of them don't have the luxury of picking up an iPhone or picking up a tablet to read your word. Dear Father, they don't have the option of picking up even a paper copy of your word because it's not there. Dear Father, we've got it at our fingertips and they don't have it at all. Dear Father, because of these 53 boxes sitting right here beside me, that's at least 53 more in this world that we get to know about Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that he made. Father, right now, I just want to ask your blessings upon these boxes. Dear Father, that these 53 children that these go to, Father, receive blessings of the life they've ever known. Father, and the greatest blessing of all is going to be your son Jesus Christ that they get to hear about, maybe for the very first time. Dear Father, I just ask right now that you be preparing the hearts and the minds of these children and their families that will receive them. Father, this is a week of Thanksgiving that we celebrate. Father, we should celebrate Thanksgiving each and every day with the world lives. Thankful that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to sacrifice his life for ours, took our sins upon him.
always well, Lord. And I won't take them this afternoon. I'll do it in the morning. Just let me know. It's like all the kids are done. I'm not here right now. God, you are so good and wonderful and kind to us, God. We just thank you, Lord, for being able to wake up, God, and see, Lord, your wonderful creations today. God, we thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength. We thank you, God, that you provide us all that you do provide us, Father. Lord, we're thankful, God, for each and every prayer request, God, and each and every praise. Lord, if we start out, God, praises, Lord, and to you, God, with Mary Hammonds, uh, Lord, having a successful surgery, and and Doug Martin having successful surgery, Lord, that you would uh, continue, Lord, being with them. And thank God that you, uh, uh, Marcella's sister, overcoming drugs, God, just thank you, Lord, so much for that. Uh, God, 
God, we just uh, give you praise, Lord, for Tim's sister Victoria, Lord, having a, uh, getting ready to have a baby. I do ask God that you would uh, continue to be with her and the doctors, Lord, and, and the baby is uh, maybe here a little sooner than we thought. God, I just ask, Lord, that you would uh, be with all the shoe boxes, God, that you would, uh, like Chad had, had prayed and said, God, that uh, praying, Lord, that these uh, shoe boxes, Lord, be able to touch not only children, Lord, but their families as well for you. God, we pray, Lord, that you'll be with Calvin Manus, Mary Clark, Scotty Mills, and David Mills, and Mark Mills, Alma Oates, Mike Bingham, Yvonne Duff, Maxine Everett. Lord, that you would be with Liz's friend, God, who uh, may have skin cancer. God, you continue being with Darlene Stidham. And Father God, for those who may have lost loved ones, Lord, the uh, last uh, few days or months. God, this may even be the, the first holiday uh, without them. I just pray, God, Lord, you get those families. Lord, that you would uplift them, that you would comfort them. God, you are the great healer. God, you are the great comforter. Father, Lord, we lay these prayer requests at your feet. God, I give you praise and honor and glory, God, for those who came through things, Father. God, just asking, Lord, that you would continue, Lord, speaking through Kim. And uh, God, as you have often done, uh, Lord, uh, he talks about uh, preparing a sermon even this week. And uh, God, you're changing his mind. And I just thank you, God, that you're continually working in him, Father. And God, that we may receive a message that you have us to receive this morning. Lord, it's in Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Jim has a
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. If you want, you can go ahead and turn in your Bibles to Exodus chapter 32. Exodus 32. 25 through 28. Exodus 32, 25 through 28. There's a week. Last week. This week just started, so I can't say how this week is. Hope you had a good week. Liking the cold, colder weather? Liking the heat on both sides of the building? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I tell you, uh, it's almost hot up in here today. It does feel good. Uh, sorry for the delay in getting the part. It was uh, 